being a network engineer, you might be making the mistake that I'm going to show. Hi everyone, I'm Ajay, you're watching Networkers Home. And we are going to see our brand new series, Never to do mistakes for network engineers. In the last video of the series, we saw what happens when you shut down a remote port without verifying configurations. And today, I'm again here with another common mistake that network engineers can make. Let's get started. If you do some sort of configuration in the device, there's a possibility that your connection might be lost. You might lose connection to the device. But nothing to worry about. I'm here with the solution. So I'll be telling you about what is the best preventive technique we can adopt to recover from such situations automatically. We did some configuration on the device. We were taking remote access. We did some configuration. And due to the configuration, we lost the access to the device. Now, only option we have is to connect with the admin there. And if the admin is not available, might be off working hours. And the admin may not be available for another 8 to 10 hours. And we may have a tough time explaining why such kind of issue happened because for a long time the networks will be down. Coming to the misconfigurations, we can talk about, uh, you can consider a L3 switch where you uh, disable the L3 functionality on the device and all the routing capabilities are gone. Correct? So how to avoid such kind of mistake? Let's see. Let's understand this thing with a real-time case. So here we have a topology, okay, wherein we will have two sites, site 1 and site 2. I'll be taking the access of site 2 using Telnet from the site 1. And by mistake, or he in, in this case intentionally, I'll be shutting down this port, right? If I shut down the port, definitely I'll lose the access to the device. Correct, this is something that's going to happen. Now, in such kind of scenarios, if you lose access, how to avoid it? How you're going to avoid losing access to the device? What are the changes you are making onto the device? How would you make sure that if the changes does not work out, there should not be a large downtime in the network? So let's see it. If we talk about uh, checking the connectivity and all first. So here is our lab. I have site one and site two. The first thing I'll do is I'm going to test the connectivity from site one to site two. Let's check it. I'll go here and I'm on the site one. Let's check the connectivity. So I'll say ping 192.168.12.2. And we do have the connectivity. Connectivity is fine. Let's take uh, Telnet access. Telnet 192.168.12.2. Username I have given, then password, and we are in the site too. Now, before shutting down the port, how would you, I make sure? So, whatever the configuration that I have currently, that such stable configuration that's had been worry, uh, working for a long time for us, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to write this configuration. Okay, the stable configuration. I'm going to write it. This configuration is available with me. Now, before doing any sort of configuration, I need to take my preventive steps. Before doing any sort of configuration, I'll have to take my preventive steps here, right? Now, in the preventive steps, what are the things we could do? In the preventive steps, we could use the reload command, right? I can roll back my device to the stable configuration version, correct? So for that, we can use certain commands like reload in, reload at, and reload cancel. Now, first command reloading. So this command is used to schedule delay-based reload. That means from current time, I can say that reload in two minutes, reload in five minutes, 10 minutes, and then meanwhile, whatever the configurations I'm doing, I'll check. For example, I'll set the reload to 30 minutes from now. Then I'm doing whatever the configurations I have to do. After that, what will happen? For some time, we can check whether the configurations are working out or not. And even if something goes wrong, the configurations doesn't work out, 
you're not able to change because you lost the access to the device. After 30 minutes, your device will reload. So after 30 minutes, again, you have a stable version and working version of the configuration. Second is reload at. With reload at, you require your device time to be correct. Your device time should be set correctly. If your device time is set correctly, in that case, you can say that, okay, reload at this particular specific point of time, maybe 10 a.m. Okay, or 10 p.m. According to your facility, you will set it 30 minutes or one hour beyond whatever the configuration you are doing. Okay, so reload at for a fixed time and reload in for a delay based. Now, what if our, what if the configuration we are doing is uh, like working fine? The configurations are not causing or producing any outages or errors. In that case, after a certain point of time, we have to cancel the reload that we have scheduled so that our configurations are not rolled back to the previous version. If configurations work out, we, do, we have to cancel the reload. But before doing the configuration, we will always try to schedule a reload. Okay, whether it is delay based or at a certain point of time. So this will give us a facility to work in the buffer wherein we can, you know, work without any worries that there will be outages because after a certain point of time, device will reload and will get stable version. So let's see it practically. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is on the site two, I have already taken access of site two from the site one. And here I'm going to say reload in two. So in two minutes, this will reload. It is asking me to confirm. I'll say confirm. Now it's done. Now let's say, for example, I go here to the configuration terminal interface F0 by 0. And if I say shutdown, as soon as I say shutdown, what will happen? I lose the access to the device. You see, I don't have an access to the device. Correct. And if we check on the other side, so after two minutes, right? After two minutes, we will lose the, I mean, uh, the device will reload and we will get the stable version again. Okay. So wait for it. We have already scheduled it for two minutes. Should not take very long time. And here I'm showing you through the console. Okay. Just for our lab purpose that yes, the things are actually going to work. Okay. So let's wait for it. And you can see here that my device is reloading. It has given me a warning already that within one minute that device will shut down. So it also gives you an idea that yes, after one minute, the device is going to shut down or reload. Okay. So in one, within one minute, the device will reload and you will see later that we will have access again. Okay. So that's how we can basically avoid, you know, getting into problems, okay, causing network outages for a long time. Let's wait for it, then I'll show you about uh, reload at and reload cancel. Now, as you can see on the screen, it says shut down now. Here you can see it says shut down now. So the device has already reloaded. And if I try to take an access again to restart, I will have access to the device. Now you can see the device has started and we will get the stable version of the configuration back. Once we have the stable configuration version back, you will have access to the device again. Okay. So if I try from here again, challenge 192, Twelve dot two. You can see I again have access to the device. Okay, so using reload in, I can uh, this I can schedule a reload after a certain point of time. And another one is reload at, where I can mention a specific amount of time. So you can see here, like what is my time right now? If I say show clock, the current time in my device is one twenty one, right? So if I want to reload, I can say reload at 01, maybe 30, 00, and I can mention date. 
10th of September 2025. Okay. Time is let's verify. Yeah, so you can see 10th of September. And reason you can mention, otherwise, uh, the date and time must be set first. So you have to set the date and time clock set. Let's set it whatever it was 20121. 00 and 10th of September 2025 done and now you can see I can pet for this time and I can say confirm okay I haven't confirmed it okay this is done confirmed so this way now after within eight minutes it will reload okay and if I'm sure that my configurations are working fine meanwhile I can cancel the reload using the command reload cancel. Cancels, let us see a N C E L. And you see shutdown about it. So now it will not reboot my device. Okay. Another thing that I would like to tell you here is do not use something like a reload instead of in or at, you just say like reload 10. So this is not going to wait for another 10 minutes to reload. It's immediately going to reload your device and you might lose your configurations or access to the device. Okay. So rather than that, what you're supposed to do, always be careful about in or at. Okay. In you have to use for delay based, at you have to use for a certain point of time. Okay. And for using at, you must make sure that your device has proper date and time configured. Okay. All right, so with this, we have seen all the three solutions to how you can or what are the preventive measures you can take to avoid misconfigurations causing connection lost or you know causing your connection to lose, okay? If you think this video has helped you understand a problem with a solution, do like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good day, take care.